32 inch scale Warmoth bass, jazz bass. I thought it was so interesting that Phil McKnight, who is six foot tall, and he chooses to play a 32 inch Warwick. And when asked about why he would make that choice, he's like, why are you guys working so hard? And I agree. Once I got a 32 inch bass, 34 inch scales, they were like dead to me. It didn't matter what fender release, block inlays, cool finishes, I was like not tempted. I did not turn my head at all. This is so much more compact, comfortable. I can be a little faster on it. I am, I'm 100 pounds, five foot two, so a 34 inch scale doesn't really make sense for me if this is available. Also, the shorter scales are a lot easier on people who have any sort of arthritis or shoulder issues on their fretting hand. Right now, I know that Ibanez has the, I, the Mezzo, which is a 32 inch scale. It's a lower level model, pretty inexpensive. There's some independent builders who make 32 inches, and of course, you can do Warmoth. Uh, Fender Japan, when I, when I bought this like 12 or 13 years ago, there was some Fender Japan 32 inch on eBay, but I just didn't want to go that expensive at the time. And I, I think some of those Jaguar bases that are out right now, Fender Jaguar bases might be 32. I've seen 34 listed as a scale and 32, so I'm, I'm not really sure what's accurate or if it is different between different uh, models of that Jaguar. But the only reason that I'm getting rid of this bass, because I have absolutely loved it, is to go even smaller. <laughs> I just was interested in short scale basses, so I got, you know, a Made in Japan Jazz, and I'm liking it. This is more balanced though. This is very balanced. It's very, very comfortable. It's even more balanced than, than that is. But um, so whether you buy this 32 inch or a different one, I highly recommend a 32 inch base. Take care.